Hello everyone, this is Princess Megabyte and this is my first video about Cody on the Amazon Fire Stick. If you've come to this video it's because you've tried to restart Cody and all you're getting is a black screen and it won't load up at all. This can happen for a number of reasons such as you've tried to update too many apps at the same time and it's just froze or you've tried to add something and it's froze. This has happened to me and it's nothing to worry about because there is a simple fix. Um, let me just get back to the Amazon home screen. I do have the third party app Firestarter on here as well. All you have to do is go down to settings. I'm just gonna go into there. We want to go to applications, go down to manage installed applications, find Cody, click on that once. Now you just go down to force stop because that's the reason why you're having a black screen is because Cody hasn't shut down properly. So now I've shut it down properly. It's a bit like... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Task Manager on Windows when a program crashes and you force it to close. So you click Force Stop. This is optional. You can click Clear Cache. Just click it once. But whatever you do, don't click Clear Data because that will wipe all your add-ons off Cody. But it could come in useful in the future if you want to wipe Cody clean and start all over again. So I can simply go up there and launch application, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to exit out of that. I'm going to click my home button once and that should load up Firestarter. There we go. And I'm going to be snobby and I'm going to open Cody from here. And it, look, it will look as if it's loading up for the first time, but it actually isn't, because everything will still be there that you've added. <clears throat> I'm still learning a lot about all this um, Cody malarkey and tweaking Cody and adding repos and channels and so on. Um, but yeah, me, my family and I absolutely love this little home theatre we've got. But anyway, I hope this video helped you and thanks for watching.